Don't be silly, jump the gilly. This is a phrase that has recently been super synonymous with the UFC fighter Dustin Poirier, as he has pulled guillotine against the likes of Habib Nurmagomedov, Eddie Alvarez, Benoit Saint-Denis, and more. And if you or anybody else asks Dustin Poirier to stop pulling this guillotine, he'll probably answer you with a, I ain't stopping, and I'll never stop doing it. <laughs> is this a superstitious thing? Is this like his uh, lucky rabbit's foot? Does he like losing? I mean, hey, maybe he's even operating off the you miss every shot you don't take mindset, which I guess that makes sense, but it's not enough for me. So given the fact that he has a fight coming up against Islam Makachev at UFC 302, I decided to do a little bit of digging. And the stats that I found regarding him pulling guillotine actually shocked me. But I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's get into the video. Now look, according to official UFC stats, Dustin Poirier has pulled guillotine a total of 10 times. Four times against Benoit Saint-Denis, one time against Dan Hooker, one time against Habib Nurmagomedov, and four times against Eddie Alvarez. Of those 10 guillotines, how many did Dustin Poirier actually get? And the answer is an astounding zero. A big fat goose egg. And if we look outside of his UFC record for a bit, we can also see that he's never even gotten a guillotine in the regional scene, which makes it a little more confusing as to why he keeps insisting on pulling guillotine. Because he has gotten other submissions before, like for example, he submitted Pablo Garza with a darts choke, he submitted Max Holloway with a mounted triangle armbar, he submitted Jonathan Brookins with a darts choke as well, and he even submitted Michael Chandler with a rear naked choke. But never. And, I mean, never has he ever gotten a guillotine choke. However, what I'm about to bring up might suggest the fact that we were focusing on the wrong thing the entire time. You see, while he's never gotten a single guillotine choke in his entire career, what follows those guillotine chokes slash submission attempts are interesting. So let's take a look. If you look at the matches that he pulled guillotine in, you'll notice something very interesting. He beat Benoit Saint-Denis, he beat Dan Hooker, he had a no contest against Eddie Alvarez the first time but won the rematch, and the only time he really lost in a match that he pulled guillotine in was against Habib Nurmagomedov, leaving him with a 3-1-1 no contest record over people he's pulled guillotine against in the UFC, which has a win to loss ratio of 75% and a win to bout ratio of 60%. But then, I started to take every single one of his official submission attempts into account. Now, you see, Dustin Poirier in his entire UFC career has attempted 24 submissions, getting 4 of these. He's attempted these 24 submissions in 12 bouts, including bouts with Pablo Garza, Max Holloway, Jonathan Brookins, Eric Koch, Akira Khorasani, Yancey Medeiros, Eddie Alvarez, Eddie Alvarez again, Habib Nurmagomedov, Dan Hooker, Michael Chandler, and Benoit Saint-Denis. And the crazy thing about it is if you add up the wins and losses from all of those bouts where he attempted a submission, his record stands at 10 wins, one loss, and one no contest. That's right. It's essentially the last stat just with seven wins added on top of it, which makes the win to bout ratio for this stat 83% and the win-to-loss ratio at 90.9%, with of course the only outliers being the no contest against Eddie Alvarez, which he eventually avenged, and the loss against Habib Nurmagomedov. But the stats don't lie, in the UFC, he's only lost one bout in which he attempted a submission in, and that was his Habib Nurmagomedov fight. Will Islam Makachev remind us why he's Khabib Nurmagomedov's protege and be able to beat Dustin Poirier even if he does attempt a submission? Or will Habib Nurmagomedov be the permanent outlier in Dustin Poirier's record against people he's attempted a submission against? Who knows? And in general, just don't take this video too seriously. These are real stats, but the main idea is mostly just built off of a superstition. So if you're looking for a reason to bet money on Dustin Poirier, I don't suggest you bet on him by submission. But, hey, it's your money, you can do whatever you want. And one more thing before I go, I already mentioned this in a previous video, but if Dustin Poirier wins, I have to shave my head. A link to that video will be right here, so click on that if you want to, but I basically go into the entire semantics in that one minute video, so I suggest you check it out. Either than that, this is On The Liver MMA, signing out.